Let me think of the best word to describe it. Smoking the Rangers? Mm. Stomping the Rangers? Yeah. Blowing out the Rangers? Dominating the Rangers? 6 1. Stomping mud holes. <laughs> 6 to 1. Andrei Svechnikov scored twice. Seemingly everyone got in on the point production. It was one of those you get an assist and you get a goal and you get an assist. <laughs> And you get a plus. And yeah, and you get a plus. You get a plus two, and you get a plus three. Is this the new Carolina Hurricanes offense? Is it? First of all, it's a statement win, right? It's the team you're chasing in the Metropolitan, a team that that you were picked to beat during the the preseason, but obviously have gotten off to two very different starts. Statement made, I believe. Actually, let's let's hear from Rod Brindamore himself on if the the Canes are looking at the Rangers in the standings. Yeah, not really. I mean, that's that's a pretty big gap with games in hand and everything. So it's you know we we've just got to just keep plugging along and uh, you know we'll, we'll see where we are at the end of the year. But we we're we're you know taking a day at a time. Taking it a day at a time. Yeah, but last night had to feel good when you <laughs> they're ahead by a lot, but last night helped a bunch. Like that's that's kind of the thought process. But here's the the crazy part, right? Actually, I, I it just came up in passing. Adam Gold's leaving the the studio. I'm walking in. Adam Gold hosts the Adam Gold show obviously right before this one every uh, every afternoon right here on 999 the fan. And I said last night was fun, huh? And he was like Canes with a great power play and goaltending. Like <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to go. Not two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that's not how they're designed to win. And I'm going, yeah, but guess what? Canes are up to ninth in the NHL in goals per game. They're a top ten scoring team in the NHL. Aho and Svetch are simultaneously on a heater. Here's Rod Brindamore on why Svetch and Aho have been on that hot pace. Uh, well, you got great players there and they're kind of getting rewarded, really. I, I don't really see that they've done anything differently. If you watch our games all year, it's just right now, I mean, that last goal is a great individual effort by Svesh. And, um, you know, he's getting the puck to go in, which is great. We need that. And Seabass is just the same thing. He's just kind of, he's always around the net and making plays. It's just lately they've been going in. So, um, obviously, great to see. Now, obviously, like, you know, we joked yesterday about uh, Aho basically averaging three points a game over the previous week and a half, going like, oh, is that sustainable? Obviously not. But he had another point last night. Slacker. Just one. Just one. Is it sustainable how they're getting things done? Nine of their 12 forwards that played yesterday tallied at least a point, a goal or an assist. Nine of 12. That I mean – it wasn't that long ago, although we're going we're gonna to talk about how it might be longer than it feels. It wasn't that long ago we were talking about they had to trade some kind of defenseman for, for a forward because they weren't getting it done on that side of the ice. Oh, and by the way, they did get a goal and four assists from the defenseman. Six goals. There's a, there's a lot of production to go around. I mean, here's the thing. They led the NHL in goals last year for blue line. And, and I... I've advocated for their defensemen making defense first, and they've been doing that. But if you want to throw in five points, I'm fine with that, too. That's fine, too. Right? Sometimes D'Angelo, when he's on the ice, it feels like they're putting a little bit of offensive emphasis too much on, on the defenseman side of things. Uh, but but with Chat, I mean, Chatfield scored last night. Ajo has been on a reckless tear, Sebastian Ajo, for 11 games now. 11. That's... When does it stop being like a hot streak and just be, that's how he's playing now? How far does it have to go, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a month? Is it two months? Is it, does he make it to the all-star break? How long until it is just how he's playing this season and we deem it sustainable? Not to say he won't have off games, but to say, yeah, he's leveled up. He's right at that point in his kind of age and career where if there's going to be that big level-up process, now's a good time to expect it. Svetch coming back off the injury, it looks like he's playing as well as he has. 
These are guys that are locked into combined. You're looking at like $17, $18 million a year starting next year. They're playing like $17, $18 million a year on the ice. Mm Mm-hmm. If they got it right, if Don Waddell got it right, paid the right guys, right, shelled out when he was supposed to shell out, is this sustainable? Is it just, hey, when you have two guys that are this good, and by the way, Drury's playing really well. Uh, uh, Our guy, Stefan Nason's playing really well. Jarvis, you know what he's capable of. Right, if if they are all just a, a solid core, at one at at what point in time do we look around and just say, "This is not a team that needs to rely solely on their defensive system and their defensive prowess"? Which, by the way, like it's still a Rod Brindamore coach team, it's still going to start there. But they scored six goals against the Rangers last night, and they scored six goals against the Vegas Golden Knights when they played them a couple weeks ago, and and. You know, Ajo's going for three and four points uh, often enough that it's it's like kind of becoming a little commonplace. You never wanted to, but you still want to celebrate it. But this is a team that might be built a little differently, by the way, without changing personnel a ton. This offseason, it's not like they, they you know, cashed in a bunch of defensive chips for, for forwards. Mm-hmm. Their big addition was actually a defenseman, Orlov. As much as I like Michael Bunting, and we've been very high on Michael Bunting. Scored last night. Uh, who didn't? But uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't think he's the kind of guy that came in and like transformed the the forward group. No. And and it's 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 good to see. Right? There's there's two ways a team can get better in the offseason. There's two ways a team can get better at, like as their 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 franchise moves along. One like the GM goes out and makes moves and brings in better players. They draft well. They trade well. They free agent well. The other is individual improvement by guys already on your roster. That's the other way your team can get better. And if you're not going to make a ton of moves in the offseason, and if you're not going to make a ton of moves when early in the year everything is screaming, hey, make a move to get them back on track. If you're not going to do that, you do have to look around and say, where's the individual improvement coming from? And I have to admit, I wasn't, I mean, I knew Ajo was good, but I wasn't thinking there's like this other worldly level he could go to. I was thinking Jarvis could step up. I was thinking a few others could step up. But if Ajo wants to take it to the 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 next level, go right ahead. If Svetch wants to turn into like a, you know, a little over a, a point a game player, go right ahead. Kind of, kind of absurd to think, but how nice would it be? And by the way, this is kind of what happens in the postseason, right? You're you're a team that just grinds out wins and grinds out wins. If that's not there, imagine if hey, we need a game, let's go win a shootout, which they haven't done this season. If, if I remember correctly, not not well. I mean, six goals. Oh, you mean like that kind of shootout? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Football season's over. Stop saying shootout like that. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're talking uh, like a like a seven six game. Or yeah, just a, a game where you, you have to open it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, not not a shootout. Yeah, a, like, wait a metaphorical second. shootout is yeah. what I was getting after there.